Well, the Butler Bulldogs played at the number six Villanova Wildcats today um, on the road. Obviously, tough, tough team. Number six in the country for a reason, undefeated for a reason. There's just so many different guys on this Villanova team that can shoot the ball, and it's hard to key in when you've got like four guys that can really shoot the ball, and it just makes things tough, especially when Butler's the kind of team that likes to uh, uh, play a very tight defense down low, make teams shoot it from the outside, but this is definitely not a team you can do that with. Um, spreads out your defense and uh, just makes things very difficult for Butler. Uh, Villanova did win this game 67-55. to This was the first game of the Big East schedule for both teams. Um, Butler, uh, Butler did what they could, but it just wasn't meant to be. Villanova started off each half on uh, a run. I think the first half was they started the game off with an 8-2 to two run. Second half they started off with a 9-2 to two run. Butler uh, was able to trim Villanova's. Uh, they trimmed Villanova's lead uh, down to two late in the first half. Got it to four at halftime, and then it was just it was over from there. Villanova was able to get it out to a 16-point lead with four minutes to go in a half, four and a, or four minutes, four and a half minutes to go in the game um, before Butler trimmed it down to 12 for the final margin. Um, just great job by Villanova. They're just a great team. And I'm proud of the effort by Butler. They gave it all they had. Um, they never led in this game, but they were still right there. I thought it could have been a lot worse, and it definitely could have been, especially if, for those of you that saw the game last year at Villanova, it got really bad. But uh, there's a lot of fight in this Butler team, and they did what they could. Villanova did a great job playing defense. They did a really good job of uh, uh, limiting Kellen Dunham. Kellen Dunham had the lowest point total of the season in this game, 10 points only for him. So they really made things tough. He looked like he'd been through a war by the end of the game. They were very physical with him. But uh, in this game, Roosevelt Jones had eight points on four of 15 shooting. Really not a good job shooting the ball. But like I said, they played great defense. Um, he had nine rebounds in the game. Five of them were offensive. He had two assists to go with it. Cameron Woods, only one point. Uh, 0 of 2 from the field. He was 1 of 2 from the free throw line. He added six rebounds and three steals. Andrew Stravis with 12 points on 5 of 11 shooting. He was 0 of 1 behind the three-point line. He added five rebounds. Two were offensive. He also had an assist, a steal, and a block to go with it. Alex Barlow, 12 points on 4 of 11 shooting. He was 4 of 9 behind the three-point line. He added four rebounds. Kellen Dunham, like I said, 10 points on 4 of 10 shooting. He was 0 of 2 behind the three-point line. He added two steals. Austin Netherington came off the bench five points on two of three shooting. He was one of three, or I'm sorry, one of one behind the three-point line. He added three rebounds and two assists. Tyler Weidman played 12 minutes. He was 0 of 1 from the field. Four rebounds, three were offensive. Uh, Jackson Aldridge had five points on two of three shooting. He was one of one behind the three-point line. Jackson Davis came in, played two minutes. He had, took no shots. And Keelan Martin, two points on one of six shooting. He was 0 of 3 behind the three-point line. And uh, for, as a team, Butler was 22 of 62 for 35.5%. Villanova was 23 of 48 for 47.9%. Butler was 6 of 17 from the three-point line for 35.3%. Villanova was 5 of 20 for 25%. So Butler hit one more three-point shot than Villanova did, um, and they hit one less bucket than Villanova did field goal wise, but they took 14 more shots in the game. So Butler got definitely got the offensive rebounds as you're getting ready to find out, but they're, they weren't able to convert. Villanova's defense just made it really good, really hard on them, hard for them, and uh, like I said, just a great job by them. Rebounds. Butler won the category 40 to 29. Butler had 17 offensive rebounds. Villanova, Villanova only had three uh, assists. Villanova had 17. Butler had eight steals. Was tied at seven apiece. Blocks. Villanova had nine. Butler had two. Turnovers. Butler had 14. Villanova had eight. And fouls. Butler had 17. Villanova had 14. Um, points off turnovers. Villanova 16. Butler six. 
Second chance points, Butler 11, Villanova 4. Points in the paint, Villanova 28, Butler 20. Fast break points, Butler 11, Villanova 4. And uh, bench points, Villanova 17, Butler 12. Um, like I said, once again, Villanova just did a great job. They deserve their number six ranking. They deserve to be undefeated. And uh, we'll see how long they can maintain that. Butler falls to 10-4 and four on the season. They're 0-1 now in conference play. And they have to play at number 15, St. John's, this weekend. Another tough game. They're coming off a loss, but they're going to be hungry for a win. And they're going to have the home crowd behind them. So once again, Butler loses this game 67-55 to the Villanova Wildcats. And thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.